How to deal with a woman's mood swings. We're going to cover a lot of important points here that could potentially save your relationship and even your marriage. Women are emotional creatures. There's no way around that. Don't think that one day you're going to find a woman that isn't emotional. It doesn't exist. So what we need to do as men is find an emotionally stable woman and form a long term relationship with her or evaluate that the woman we're with is never going to be emotionally stable, at which point we walk away. Let's begin our conversation by dispelling the first myth of how you should deal with a woman when she's being emotional. So a lot of guys have heard the advice, when a woman loses her shit, you should stay stoic. You should not react. You should just let that storm come and then allow her to blow up and you just stay stoic and that's the way to deal with it. Now, that's partially true, but not actually a fully correct way to deal with the situation. Now, on one hand, once in a while, if your woman blows up once in a while and, and you just remain stoic and don't really say much, that's okay. But if your woman is constantly losing her temper and just throwing this fit, and you don't have a reaction to that, that's actually making the problem worse. One of the reasons why a woman starts being very emotional and, and blows up in your face often is she's trying to get a reaction out of you. When a woman becomes frequently emotional in a relationship with a man, the root cause is that she does not feel safe. So one scenario is this. A woman is going to keep coming at you, keep coming at you, keep coming at you. And you think, oh, I should just stay stoic. No, she's coming at you because she's trying to check. Hey, do you still have balls? Are your balls still attached? I'm not feeling secure. I need to see that you're still the man that I that I met uh, before. I, I need to see that you still have a backbone. So sometimes when a woman loses her shit on you, you need to show her that you stand up for yourself. And if she's coming at you too hard and too frequently, you have to put your foot down and say, hey, stop enough. So there have been various different relationships where I've put my foot down and told the woman, hey, stop enough. And later on, when she calmed down, she said, hey, Jad, thank you for putting me in, putting me in my place. I went too far. So translation, she was saying, hey, Jad, Thank you for showing me that you do have a backbone and restoring my sense of feeling safe with you. So sometimes a woman is just losing her shit on you to test if you still have a backbone, in which case don't remain stoic. You need to put your foot down and say, hey, enough and tell her she's gone too far. She'll appreciate it. Here's another piece of advice. Don't go on the emotional roller coaster with her. So. A woman is emotional, she's going to go up and down, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to ride that ride with her, okay? You be that stable rock while she's going all up and down. So don't get consumed, don't get sucked into her drama, maintain spaciousness, let her go up and down, but don't let that make you second guess all over the place. Masculine, the masculine energy is like an arrow, it's straight, it's steady. Don't get caught up in women's emotions. The next mistake men make is when women get pissed off, they say some real nasty shit, some real hurtful shit. One thing a woman is naturally born, she has the innate ability to hit you with daggers. She knows exactly what to say to injure you at the deepest level. You need to understand that a lot of things women say when they're angry, they don't mean, but what they say is very hurtful. You as a man need to know not to take anything she says to heart. When she's pissed off and she calls you whatever she calls you, don't take it to heart. In your mind, just be like, okay, she's pissed. When women are pissed, they say hateful shit. That's what they all do. So I'm not going to take anything she's saying to heart. Let her calm the fuck down. She's just angry and she doesn't know what the fuck she's saying. Next tip. If your woman is very snippy and short with you and impatient with you all the time and she's always like me, 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 me on your ass all the time, you're in a very bad spot. She secretly hates you. 
She thinks you're a bitch. She no longer sees you as a strong man with a backbone and balls. She's lost respect for you. Be very careful. If you're in this position, she's never angry for the reason you think. If she's being nitpicky and impatient with you, that means there's a fundamental, re there's a core root issue there that needs to be addressed. And that core issue comes down to, I don't feel safe and I no longer see you as a powerful man. I see you as a bitch. So at this stage, if your woman is nitpicky and, 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 and short-tempered with you, you need to reestablish in her eyes that you're a man with a backbone and balls. Stop trying to resolve all these tiny issues she's nitpicking you about. That's not the real issue. The real issue is she feels like you're a bitch and she's lost all respect for you and she's picking and poking at you. What she's trying to tell you is, hey, stop acting like a bitch. Show me you're a man. Go back to the man I thought you were when I first met you. That's really what's going on there. Here's one thing I do when my woman starts getting nitpicky or short with me. I say, hey, 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 hey slow down. Respect is not optional here. Either you deal with me res with respect or just stay away from me. Is there some issue we need to address? Okay, spit it out. Let me know what the fuck is bothering you. Why are you nitpicking all the time? So don't tolerate nitpicking and a woman being like, well, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Nitpicking on your ass all the time because she will ride you to the death. Don't even let that shit start. Nip it off at the bud, address the root issue, and just let her know what the fuck's eating at you so we can address it and stop, deal and stop dealing with this nitpicking. But I'm not going to tolerate nitpicking at all. Zero tolerance for that shit. Next, let's talk about drama queens. There are some toxic women out there who want to fight and feed off of the drama. They have some work to do on themselves. They are not ready to be in a long-term relationship. You cannot fix them. Get away from them now. Period. Simple. Now, if you're with a woman that you believe is worth helping, if she's really emotionally reactive all the time, you need to educate her and let her know, hey, you need to work on developing your self-awareness. A great book to recommend to your woman is the book The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. That book teaches us that we are not the thoughts and we are not the emotions. We are the awareness behind them. The reason why short-tempered people are short-tempered is because they have no space between them as awareness and their thoughts and feelings. And so they're in the thoughts and in the feelings and that's why they get pissed off so quickly. But if they develop some spaciousness between them, the real them, which is just the awareness and the human mechanical thoughts and feelings, that's when, when there's spaciousness, that's when self-control comes in. So if your woman has no spaciousness and she thinks she is the thoughts and is the emotions, that's why she gets pissed so quickly. She has to learn that she is the awareness and not to identify with her thoughts and feelings so much. The book, The Power of Now, will teach her how to do that. So gently recommend that to her. Finally, let's talk about abusive relationships. And yes, I'm meaning that the man is being abused. So there's a lot of talk in this society about how women are being abused and all that stuff. Okay, fine. But there's a lot of men getting emotionally, psychologically abused by women who are constantly disrespecting the man, putting the man down, dumping all her negative emotions on the man. And that is abusive. If you're in a relationship where this kind of psychological, emotional abuse continues and does not stop, try to stand up for yourself. But if the woman does not listen to reason, you must pack your bags and leave, okay? You can try to get her to listen to reason, but if she doesn't, because some women won't listen to reason, you gotta just burn the shit to the ground and, and leave because nothing is more important than your self-respect and dignity as a man and also nothing is more important than your peace. Your peace, your self-respect, and your dignity is more important than her. If the woman is relentless and not listening to reason, leave her. I'm sure you're a great guy and you deserve a woman who treats you as such. 
There is a kind of person when they're mad, instead of internalizing it, they throw it on to others. If you're with that kind of person, either get them to stop and develop their self-awareness or you've ha you have to leave. But don't subju uh, subject yourself to abuse. You are not here to save any woman. A woman is responsible for her emotional well-being and her emotional control. Yes, your woman is still going to be emotional. Don't expect perfection, but there are limits. For each of us, the limit's going to be different. Find the limit that you're willing to tolerate, but don't tolerate anymore. Make sure you subscribe to this channel where I teach you how to seduce women through integrity and how to have healthy relationships with them. My name is Jati Jones. Thanks for watching.